Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um, I think it was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little, and then he asked me to get him a crossbow. Um, that one part was a... Uh... You know what, never you know mind. What? Never mind. So if Kaito asked for a crossbow, does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? Maybe. No, he said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow then went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returned fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. Maybe. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. And there's proof of that. The hole in Kokichi's clothes. This is it! Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? Yep. And it was Kaito who shot him, right? Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow. But mm. it doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Maki's been acting so strangely. But why? Does she know something? Maybe Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. Uh uh. No. But in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then, let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. You sure about that? Huh? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, mm. there should be some mysteries that still matter. The poison. For example, is Kokichi really inside that exosol? Yeah, I'm Stuff not like sure. That. What? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. His voice is even coming from the exosol and everything. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier. Didn't we? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. Ugh. It what? Ha! Because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more! Sorry for the wait, guys! I don't like this. The Luminary of the Stars has arrived! This time for real! What? What's going on? I told you, I'm Kaito. I was just pretending to be Kokichi, is all. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Uh-huh. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Don't ever call me that. Oof. Whoa there, chill! You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? The electronic latch. I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this exosol. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? what? Me? Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. Kaido is alive after all. No. Maybe 
That's just what I want to believe. Is it really true? What story does the evidence tell? The story end with Kaito or Kokichi being the victim? Both? I can't look away from the truth. You just gotta say it with confidence. Alright. I'm trying, I really am, but I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaito. Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. Kaito is already dead. Oh. Despair will never die! <laughs> good, good! This is already more entertaining! Now, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present to its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! All right, let's give it everything we've got! You're gonna make me really say, like, outline why Kaido's dead, huh? That's cruel. That's really cruel. Oh, is the Exosol going up too? I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I got this! Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. Okay. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Muffy! Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Muffy! Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I got this! Kaito's clothes had arrow holes, too. I want mm. to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the Mastermind. Muffy! The Mastermind is still alive. Inside that Exosol. Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I got I'm this. not opposed because to it! the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still I alive. I want him to be alive! S S S S S S S S S S S S S W W W A B. Just me and Maki, huh? I don't want to believe it. In a way, I still can't. But the evidence. The evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is... <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. Sorry, that was just a little joke. What a sick joke! You're still an asshole. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Uh... Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Getting back on topic. Why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? Sure. I think we need to get all the facts straight, so we don't fall for any more lies. I agree, but... What do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay. Let's discuss that, then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So, if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Hey, I said, why are you... Alrighty, then! Let the debate begin! God, you're the worst. You are the worst, truly. Three arrows. When the crossbow fired, what was even going on? If you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow.
crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. Yeah. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too. Then Kokichi up. disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. No, I don't think so. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one. But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. Uh, no. That's wrong! Three. Wait, Himiko. What do you mean, one arrow? Hmm? Well, I only gave Kaito one arrow, so... What? Are you positive? Of course! There's no way I got that wrong! But there are three of them! Well then, that's strange, because... There were three arrows in the bathroom, remember? Three? I know I only gave him one! Kaito even told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. There were three arrows at the scene, but Himiko said that she only brought one. What is going on here? Maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? Why would he? Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood on them. And my theory is poison. And altogether, their clothes had three perforations in them. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. Where did those arrows come from? I don't think Himiko's lying. There must be another angle. Um, think, think, think. Uh, psych taxi, yay. Alright, let's go. I don't have any Mario Kart music for this time for you. I do think Kaito shot first. <laughs> Makes sense, because you would have the crossbow. Makes the most sense to me, at least. How many arrows did Himiko give to Kaito? Well, just the one. Ow. That sucks. Just for one. Inside the hangar from the start. That was nice. Yeah. Ow. All right, Kirky, you stop, stop running into the walls, my guy. Are you can focus? Why did I not remember that? Doesn't seem that useful here, to be honest. Psych Taxi is like honestly really weak as a mini game. <laughs> Not as bad as the stupid mind layer thing, but yes. Okay, no. I thought maybe he like broke him up. Mm. 
Okay. Oh, it's getting real narrow here, isn't it? Don't know how much focus is really helping here. We're gonna hit that guy if we're not careful. Who brought the two arrows? Kaito, I guess. That's a nice guy. A third party. Maki? You connect, I guess. Could it be that the additional arrows were brought in by a third party? A third party? So someone besides Kokichi or Himiko? That's Maki? just a guess, though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Kaido was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's right. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. Mm. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Maybe. Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. Yeah. That hangar should have been completely closed off, Did right? Maki steal an Exosol and go in there? It was completely closed off, but can we confirm that? Because she didn't have her Electro Hammer because it's by the disabled Exosols. And then Exosol Green went in there. Some way we haven't figured out yet. An Exosol. X I S A L I see now Maki used one. That's it! The Exosaw! The Exosaw could be used to enter the hangar. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the Exosols, right? So if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an Exosol. I saw an Exosol enter the hangar last night. So was this third party piloting it? Yep, I think it was Maki. By the way, I just want to confirm something with Monokuma. Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an Exosol? trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, I guess I can tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an exosol. After all, the hangar is where the exosols are supposed to be stored. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an exosol comes and goes, you know? So even if someone is inside an exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. Does it be a hassle to leave the exosol every time you have to put it away? Mm. So it's like Shuichi said, a third party got in an exosol and entered the hangar? But can just anyone pilot it? Supposed to only be the mono cubs. Well, Kokichi. It's surprisingly easy. If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. Nipples too! Anyway. This third uh -huh. party commandeered an exosaw and infiltrated the hangar. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you that's impossible. Why is it impossible, Maki? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an exosol. It's not possible. What? Not possible? Maki, what are you talking about? Why are you trying to hide it? Why? Why won't you tell me?
On Kuma File 5, Hatch with Electric Law. If someone was piloting the Exosol. They could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Okay. Why? Is operating the Exosol really that difficult? Do we even know how to get inside an Exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four Exosols. Mm -hmm. And they were all moving too. Uh huh. I was controlling them remotely. The electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. No, that's not true. There's no way to stop an Exosol. Monokuma File 5 is not helpful. Um, hatch so of Electronic Watch. inside one would have been impossible. You're right! It's impossible! It's not impossible. There's only one way to stop an Exosol. If someone was piloting the Exosol, they could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Is operating the Exosol really that difficult? You just gotta use your nipples, apparently. Do we even know how to get inside an Exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four Exosols. And they were all moving, too. Uh huh. I was controlling them remotely. The electro hammers weren't an option. False. Yesterday, all the hammers were. That's wrong! Malkis wasn't. Wait, not all of the electro hammers were being charged. I know because I found one. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and the Exosols. Is that electro hammer used by the third party? Yeah, it was Maki's hammer. Maybe they used it to disable an Exosol. Yes, I think so. When I saw them last afternoon, there were four Exosols. But this morning, there were only three. I have a dog getting more in the background, too. sorry. Was the missing Exosol taken by this third party? <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? Who did it? Who is this third party? The identity of the third party is a whining dog. The electric hammer gives us a clue. I saw four exosols at the scene yesterday. This morning when we were trying to get into the hangar, there were three. The culprit must have used their electro hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. It's Maki. It's you! Maki. You're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? What? It's Maki? What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. The electro hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. If you use it against the next cell, it'll run out of use in one shot. The electro hammer needs to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning... Yeah, that was kind of weird. Maki was the only one without an electro hammer, wasn't she? Knowing that, the electro hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. And that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. She didn't, though. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lap, disabled the Exosoft with an electro hammer, and infiltrated the hangar. Now we just have to figure out what happened after- I'll kill your logic. I'll kill your logic, huh? Why are you doing this? What? Why are you getting in my way? Getting in your way? Maki, what are you- Yes, I'm the third party. Huh? I admit to going into the hangar with an Exosol. 
and then shooting the crossbow. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit! Oh, this sucks. Crossbow, three arrows. Large black case, poison. You're right. Oops. I used the electro hammer. And I used the exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I'm not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. Uh huh. You're right. God, I'm really I missing my swings here. And I used the exosol to enter the hangar, too. God, these are hard to hit. The crossbow there. However, I'm not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. Yeah, I need to hit them all, huh? I used the electro hammer. And I used the exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. Okay. Oof. The crossbow is not the murder weapon? What do you mean? The arrows left holes in the clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. Uh huh. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. Poison. I'll cut through your words. It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit if it were poisoned. The poison? I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. There was just a little less in the bottle than before. If that poison had been applied to those arrows, they would have been lethal, no matter where they connected. Maki, do you have a rebuttal? What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Don't tell me. Are you... really the culprit? But there's no way she is! Because... why would she kill Kaito? I don't think she killed... Kaito on purpose. Ah, I can't understand if you don't explain anything! Maki is still fighting. Huh? Fighting? Do you remember that Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. Then when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant... Sacrifice that Maki's talking about must be all of us. That's it. She plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kokichi. Sacrifice us? Then by hiding the truth, Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the She really did answer. that. Just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him? But doesn't that mean that Maki's the culprit? She knew what happened and tried to hide it from us. But that mischievous plan was ruined, all thanks to Shuichi here. Too bad, Maki. I already predicted this would happen. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. But... K Kokichi was shot too. They should both be dead then. This isn't over. Hmm? Maybe we do have the truth now. But this isn't over. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. Huh? What do you mean? Does this mean you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? Uh, I guess. What did you say? Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. So Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So Kaito said that to you. Then, does that mean you guys made up before he died? Yeah. Yeah, when I went to see him yesterday. I see. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Shuichi. You're so persistent. Were you always like that? I guess so. I think so. Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. That guy... could be pretty stubborn. Then, what really happened? Maki, please tell us. 
please. And so, Marky began telling the truth. A truth that would leave us all in shock. Uh, why are you narrating? Don't just start narrating things. You're ruining the mood. Well, I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either. Intermission? Intermission.